Hello students, welcome once again to e-lecture series of strategic management. Today, we're going to discuss the last component of strategic management process. That is strategic evaluation and control. Before starting this component, let us have a recap on all the units whatever we have discussed in our last videos. In first unit, we have discussed strategic management, the concept of strategic management, about the vision, mission, policies, objectives, why companies need to prepare strategies, who will take care of this strategy? And in second unit, we have discussed the different tools and techniques for strategy formulation. In unit three, we have discussed strategy formulation and different matrix, whatever exercising incorporates. Finally, we are in fourth component. This is the last component in strategic management process. Strategic evaluation and control. If you see the definition, strategic evaluation and control could be defined as the process of determining the effectiveness of a given strategy in achieving the organizational objectives and taking corrective action wherever required. Think yourself, if strategic manager doesn't go for strategy evaluation, what could happen to the strategy? Can they reach strategic vision? Is there any chance to reach strategic vision in the due course of their efforts Fine. the process of evaluation strategies how organizations or strategic leader do the evaluation process of these strategies first they set performance standards then they measure the performances whatever existed in the organization they compare the standards with that of existing performance of the organization. They evaluate the difference that exists in between these two. If the difference is within the limits, then they'll go for further. Otherwise, they'll take necessary action for correcting that major difference existing. That to make path to achieve strategic vision. Normally, organizations do the strategic evaluation and control at two levels. One is strategic level, the other one is operational level. The basic theme of strategic control at strategic level is to assess the changing environment continuously. Why? Because there may chance to affect significantly the course of organization's strategy. We can't say firmly that the factors or environmental components couldn't affect strategy in the due course. So it's must to strategic managers to carry out the evaluation process and controlling process to make them conscious to achieve strategic vision. As we discussed as we said earlier, we have 
controlling at two levels. One is at strategic level, the other one is at operational level. At strategic level, strategic managers control the things through methods like premise control, implementation control, strategic surveillance, special alert control. Let us see one after other. Premise control. Strategic manager should take care of the factors or premises, whatever they consider for formulating that strategy. Otherwise, there is a chance to get major effects from the premises. Next one is implementation control. It verifies that the strategy is being executed as we planned or whether the results are being delivered how we expected or not. With implementation control, one can assess this execution and results delivery. With strategic surveillance, strategic managers can assess what's the willingness or ability of customers to pay on particular product or service. That means strategic surveillance do some kind of environmental scan for a wide range of events internally and externally to the company that impacts its strategy. Last one is special alert control. With this special alert control, one can help to ensure unexpected events. Similarly, operational control methods, budgeting, the way how we spend the resources, whatever we have in our hand for smooth moving of work procedures within the organization. Budgeting, it ensures that you will always have enough money for the things you need and the things that are important to you. It helps strategic managers for smooth running of organization without any delays because of deficiency of money. Next one is scheduling. With this scheduling control, one can understand what they can realistically achieve within their time. Like this, strategic managers are exercising control for strategic evaluation and control. Let us see how the strategic and operational control is being exercised in the corporates. For doing strategic control, top level corporate executives are the responsibles. This is a long term focused one. Observation and monitoring at a long period use much efficiency. To the strategic control. Environmental scanning, SWAT matrix, information gathering techniques will be used in strategic control. The overall concentration focused like on both the environments that is external and internal. Whereas for operational control, functional level executives or the responsibles for carrying this operational controlling methods, they focus on daily, day-to-day -day activities. Day-to-day -day observation and monitoring is their focus to achieve strategic vision. Day-to-day -day reporting, comparing standards, actual functioning performance, other recorded things for controlling operations within the organization. This operational control confined to internal environment only. For this, strategic evaluation and control component is 
submitted. If you have any doubts, mail me or post me on WhatsApp. Thank you.